Sup guys, Trip649 here coming at you with part 5 of the Pokemon Heart Gold playthrough. And uh, off screen, as you can see, I went and trained up a few of our Pokemon. Got Pidgey level 8 and Rocky up one level. I think Totodile gained one level too. And um, just so I don't have to do that on screen, it's going to help me a lot in this tower. Because I'm going to be using uh, Pidgey for a majority of this. Uh, the wild Pokemon aren't the problem, it's what these guys use. Um, these guys use Bellsprout, so... And I know they're only like level 3, but still, when you fight like 20 of them, and a Totodile probably cannot knock them on one hit, so... Pidgey's gonna do the trick, and once Pidgey gets Gust, I should be able to knock them on one hit, so... Should be a decent, uh, quick little session through the Sprout Tower. And, uh... I just hope you guys are sports fans out there. I play video games a lot. Um, I play Pokemon here, uh, NBA, Madden, Call of Duty, a lot of video games, a ton of variety. Um, almost any video game you think of it. Any video game you can think of, I have played at least once. And um, But I was watching the, uh, I think it's, it's, well, I don't know what the sponsor is, but Slam Dunk Contest 2016. And it was an absolute show. I, I, it was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I am a huge basketball fan. My, my sport's golf. Like, I'm the best at golf. I can compete the best at golf. But slowly but surely, I'm getting way better at basketball. Like, in high school, like, I was on the varsity team. I played, um, I played like, almost every game. Like, a few games I didn't play in because of the matchups and stuff. But um, I wasn't... I mean, I wasn't even as close to as good as I am right now in high school. In high school, I was a back-to-the-basket player, um, decent at defense, um, just kind of just like a cleanup guy. Like, my guards would just drive in and uh, just dish me ball and i get layups. Didn't really have an outside game. But now, like, I've, I, I don't know how. I've just been working on it. Just the desire is there for me to be just great at the sport and – I've improved so much. It's just it's really fulfilling for me to just become a better athlete uh, and a better basketball player. Just becoming a better athlete is probably the best part because being a better athlete helps in all aspects of every sport. And uh, I'm not the most athletic guy. If anyone know, that knows who I am in real life is watching this, I'm by no means a superstar athlete. I'm way below average. I'm six foot three, probably six four in shoes. And I can't, I can't dunk the ball, which a lot of you guys that hear that are probably like, oh my god, he, it's unbelievable how you can't dunk. But I'm just, I was just not that, just don't have that part of the hops. I have more hops than my friends. My friends are like six feet, and I can jump higher than them. But you can say they're better, like, they're smoother maybe, but slowly but surely, my body is just, it's maturing, I think, because I, uh, I was... I don't know. I grew really late in high school, like ninth, tenth grade. I got to this height, and I'm still growing just a little bit every year. I think I grew like a half inch this last year. I measure myself every Christmas at my grandparents' house. But um, but yeah, like slowly but surely, I think my body is just overall getting used to its height and like, the, like the length of my arms or whatever. The coordination that I lost when I started growing was like it was easy to see. Like when I was a kid, I was fairly coordinated. I was decently like I was just average size so I was catching all that stuff but then in 10th grade like I could still catch and stuff but I could tell that it just lost a lot of it when you grow and um I just it really it really sucked but now slowly but surely I'm gaining that back every time I go out and play basketball I can jump higher which is awesome and um, I'm not a big weight lifter I don't lift weights which you can tell by my frame I probably should but I just I just never really had that passion to do that maybe in Later in life, I'll get that passion. But I'm fairly skinny. I'm six foot four. I'll say in shoes, 175, 180 pounds. So pretty thin. But I'm just slowly getting, slowly but surely getting um, better at uh, basketball. I'm better at, as an athlete. Hopefully that translates into my golf game. Hopefully I can hit it farther and stuff this year in golf. And uh, but going back to what I wanted to talk about in the first place, I just went off on like let's see, I just went off on like a four minute rant. Uh, just being an athlete, I just I love talking about sports. I'm just a sports guy. Um, 
if you're going to date me, if there's girls out there, you have to be a sports guy. You have to know the, the rules of basketball, or at least understand basketball, understand golf, understand football. And I don't know, I just, I love sports. Sports are just amazing. And I love video games, too. Video games are just awesome. It's very, I can very easily, very easily, I'm stuttering today, just, I don't know, I'm recording this at night. But, um, I just, it's very easy for me to entertain myself, because I can find a lot of things I do. And there's a lot of people I relate to, too, which is also helps with, like, building friendships and building relationships with people and meeting new strangers. You can easily relate to something that they like. Because I know a lot of people that don't play sports, but like play video games, so I'm friends with them. And I know a lot of people that don't play video games a lot, but play sports, and I can relate to them too, and talk about that stuff. So it just overall being an athlete and being um, being involved in different sports and different activities, let alone I mean also being I, I think everyone should be involved in like technology too, in uh, video games, in um, like, I don't know, what else is there, TV or, I don't know, Netflix and chill, whatever you want to do. In the media, I think people should be fluent in both areas, in, like, eSports or whatever you want to call it. And um, you got to be fluent in both areas if you want to get in touch with everybody. And I think you should um, respect people that are in both sides of the spectrum. Because there's techie people, there's sports people, I think those people should respect each other, even though they might not share the same interests. But... Um, but yeah, going back to what I wanted to talk about, I want to talk about the slam dunk contest, and uh, I'm not talking about the game at all, I apologize, but it's self-explanatory, Pidgey's just wiping the floor with Bellsprout, but, um, we're getting, uh, we're getting a lot off topic in this, in this part, but oh well. So, the slam dunk contest was tonight, and my man, Zach Levine, I'm a huge Timberwolves fan, you're not going to find someone that likes Timberwolves more than me. They give me a lot of heartbreak. They make me want to punch myself. They make me physically injure myself sometimes because I pound on my desk and stuff. But I love the Timberwolves. I love our potential. I really hope they don't. Our young guys don't leave and go somewhere else and like be it really good or like continue and win championships for other teams after they get good. But the um, Timberwolves, Zach Levine, Aaron Gordon. Uh, Andre Drummond and Will Barton with the dunk contest. Not all those guys are from the Timberwolves if you guys don't watch NBA, but Zach Levine from the Timberwolves, he's my man and I knew going in Aaron Gordon was going to be tough to beat because he's just, he's incredible. He, I knew he was a big time athlete in college big time athlete in um, in Orlando, that's where he plays with, he plays with Magic and I actually saw him in person uh, last year I went to a Timberwolves Magic game and I saw him in like warm-ups. He was doing crazy in between the leg stuff. So I knew he was going to be tough to beat. Andre Drummond, I wasn't too worried about because he's a big man. And he just, I don't know, I didn't think he was going to be that impressive. Will Barton was kind of a sleeper, but he didn't really show out too much. And, um, and Zach Levine and Aaron Gordon just put on a show. Aaron Gordon had his mascot out there, held the ball on his head, and he jumped over the mascot, grabbed the ball, put it underneath both legs, and threw it down with like kind of cocked back to it was I absolutely almost had a seizure after that dunk it was absolutely insane to me and then Levine I thought at that moment Levine was gonna lose Levine won it last year and uh, I just didn't think <laughs> Levine had a chance like Aaron Gordon pulled out some stuff he brought, came with some stuff and Levine answered it every time it was unbelievable Levine did a, a windmill from the free throw line uh, he did bet uh, from the free throw line between the legs it was unbelievable he was he throw it up go behind the back, go underneath the rim, and throw it on their side. It was unbelievable. I just can't uh, just comprehend how just amazing that is. I can't imagine seeing it in person, let alone on TV. And here's Ginger, or whatever, Silver we named him, but he beat the Elder. He got his cut or whatever you get, Flash, I think you get from this. But, um, but the, like, from coming from a person that, like, I can get up, like, I can get, like, I don't know, my whole hand above the rim and a little bit more on my wrist. And I just, I just can't, like, I think I'm trying to grab the rim when I try to dunk it, so I don't really throw it in. But, um, coming from a person that's, like, super close and can almost dunk, I can dunk a volleyball and stuff. Ooh, I squeaked there. I, sorry, like, I squeak, I don't even pay attention, but, um, coming from a guy that can almost dunk and knows what it's, how hard it is to just dunk it. When you don't have that type of, born with that athleticism, 
is I can really appreciate like that type of like like vent that type of athletic move. It's just unbelievable to me. But uh, Zach Levine pulled it out. Um, it was unbelievable. He actually said, "Let's share this." with Aaron Gordon, because they had to do three extra dunks because they kept giving him 50s. It was unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I hope Levine comes back next year. I don't know if he will. He was born for that contest. And uh, it was, I just, I'm just a loss for words. I'm stuttering. I just, I'm just so hyped right now after that contest. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. It's 10-28. It's Saturday. Good thing it's Saturday. But um, I just, I'm not going to be able to sleep. I'm going to maybe stay up and make videos. I don't even know. It was just unbelievable. I just can't. I'm just so pumped up. It's like it's like listening to that Eminem song. Uh, um, what's it called? Eminem. His palms, weak, arms are ready or something like that. Lose Yourself. That song. Lose Yourself by Eminem. When I listen to that song, I get absolutely pumped up. Um, that is. I say um. I'm saying um. I don't know. It's just. I'm just. Oh. I just can't believe it. I just. Woo! Pumped! I don't know, but hope you guys are enjoying me. Uh, just rant about athletes and dunking and my background as a as a basketball player and stuff. Maybe I'll do a, in the next part. I'll talk about my golfing career and stuff, or in the summer when I see how my golfing is, will go. I was hitting golf balls yesterday with my friend. I live up in Minnesota, so we don't we can't golf in the winter. We gotta go to like. Um, with this big bubble place that you can hit golf balls in. And we uh, we hit some balls yesterday. And you can't really hit your woods too well. Or I can't anyway. But I was hitting some nice iron shots. And you can't really tell how your iron shots are like flying. Because I mean, you can feel that they're, you'll come off the club good. But you can't see that they're good. And here's my escape rope that I'm going to use. And, and yeah. Uh, maybe next uh, in the... Like, Later April, early May, I'll talk about my um, golfing. I think this is going to be my best year golfing, personally. Just because my personal life is, I mean, it's not great. Because it's been tough in the last months. But it's going to be great because, I don't know. The personal life is a big part. The mental game is a big part of your golf game. And I think I'm going to have a great mental game this year. And that's going to really improve my, my play. But that, my friends, is Sprout Tower. Um, we got Flash, which we need for... I don't really know. You just need to go fight Sprout Tower before you battle the gym, I think. Last time I checked. But next time, we're going to be taking on our first gym. Um, Violet City Gym Leader, Leader Faulkner. The I didn't say the F word there. It's Faulkner. You can see that on the screen. The Elegant Master of Flying Type Pokemon. So we're going to be battling him. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this rant on dunking athletes, and I hope you enjoyed the Pokemon in the background. I was a pretty beast battler and a good multitasker, but hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all next time.